If perhaps you have been nursing this idea of starting your own YouTube channel, but due to many reasons you have been postponing it, giving excuses, maybe I don't have the right gadget, I don't have this, I don't know what to create a YouTube video on or a YouTube channel on. I want to use this video to show you how you can go about starting your own YouTube channel, even if you don't have a laptop or you don't even have a digital camera to record yourself. All right. So if you have any topic or any niche you are on that you think people will be interested to learn about, to learn about, I want to show you how you can run a successful YouTube channel with just your smartphone. My YouTube channel actually right now, as uh, the time I'm making this video, video, I have 30 subscribers. Yes, within a short period of time, within a short space, I gained over 30 subscribers and I am still growing actually. I run my YouTube channel using my smartphone. Yes, I run my YouTube channel using just my smartphone. I don't have a laptop right now. So it is my smartphone I'm using to run the YouTube channel. So I want to show you how you can start a YouTube channel with just your smartphone. All you just need now is to start as long as you have a smartphone. I'll be showing you some free tools you can be using to create a faceless YouTube channel. Yes, I'm be showing you a free tool that you can use to create a faceless YouTube channel. Even when you don't have data to connect online, you can use these free tools and you create a YouTube channel. So now the first thing you need to do is to pick a topic, pick a niche, a niche that people will be very much interested about, a niche that people will be interested to learn more about. It can be on physical skill, it can be on a, a, a digital skill, but something people will be very much interested to learn about. It can be uh, you have an expert in a particular area, maybe on health or maybe on finance, maybe on a relationship. You can create a YouTube video or a YouTube channel on that topic and you start growing your channel little by little. That is what I'm doing. I'm, create, I'm actually creating videos on what I know how to do. Yes, I create videos on what I actually know how to do. Some digital skills that I know, I create videos on them, I post them on my channel, and I'm getting view, I'm also getting subscribers also. So I want to show you how you can go about it with just your smartphone. Like I told you earlier, just pick a niche. Find a topic people will be very much interested to learn about. That is the very first step very important a topic that people will be very much interested to learn about or to watch videos on okay now the next thing you need to do is to gather your tools what I call tools I call them tools but they are actually applications as long as you have a smartphone you can access these applications they are available for both Android users I really don't know for iOS users actually I really don't know for iOS users but for Android users these two are very much available for you so the first thing you need is a screen recorder application like this one I'm doing right now. It's a screen recorder application. You can see it. I recorded my screen actually and you can see everything I am doing. So there are other several screen recorder applications like X recorder. Yes, X recorder is a good uh, screen recorder application. You can use it. But the one I'm using here is called A Power Red. You see the application here is called A Power Red. Now, there are, the reason I advise you to use this application is because you can use it to record and it will show your face. Yes, it can show your image. I'm going to show you how to do that. It can show your image also. But the reason I don't usually on the camera is because it's a faceless channel and I don't want people to see my face. Right? So I'm just going to show you how to do that. So to do that, you go to a Play Store, you download this application, you install it on your phone, you tap on it. Let's wait for it to load. Then you go to your settings. All right, you locate where it says record camera. Record camera. Then you turn it on. Just turn it on. All right. Then you go back to your uh, your screen. You tap on this uh, recording uh, icon here. And you tap on the camera here, the last one. You're like, okay, now you can see my image. You can see my image. All right. So I'm going to turn it off because I don't want to use it all right so that is it for that on how to record your screen with your image so you can turn it on if you want to but if you don't like it you can turn it off it's very simple it's a friendly application you can use it it has a friendly interface okay now the next application you need after the screen recorder application is a slide 
an application you can use to create slideshow. Yes, that is what I also use. I use this application to create slideshow. It is called Google Slide. This is the application here. You can use other applications also. There are also other applications you can use, like Canva also. You can use Canva to create slideshows. But I normally don't use it because Canva, you really need to be online before you can able to access it. But uh, this slideshow here, this one, the moment you are, are online and you are activate one of the slides you want to use and you make it available offline, you can be using it even while you are offline. So it's very easy to use and it is also it also has a friendly interface. Like if you are conversant with uh, Microsoft PowerPoint, this application will not be difficult for you. Yes. If you're conversant with Microsoft Word, this uh, self PowerPoint, this application will not be difficult for you. You can use it to do create your own presentation. So if you watch here, these are several topics I created. I actually created all these online course that I created some time ago. The course is still available now, how to make money online. I taught on several skills like Amazon KDP. I talked on uh, how to create an online course on, I mean, yes, an online course on what you know how to do. I taught on drop shipping. There are several topics, how to create a membership site. So the course is also available in case for adventure you want it. I will drop a link or you can just indicate in the comment section. I will send you all the details, all you need to know about that course, okay? So you can use it, this application to create slideshows or you also use it to create a presentation. Yes, you can use it to create a presentation to make videos on it. Like if you want to talk on a particular topic, maybe on health, you can just activate one of these slides. You tap on this plus sign here. And it will show you choose template and choose a presentation. Now, before you can be able to activate any slide on the choose template format, you have to be online. But if you want to use the new temp, uh, new, new presentation, you can just tap on it and you start creating. But the reason I don't actually recommend using a new presentation is because you need to start everything from scratch, designing it by yourself. And that will be very difficult for you yes it will be very difficult for you so I recommend you use a template where you just have to delete edit anything you don't want you can delete it anything you want you edit it to your own satisfaction so it's very easy to use you can actually add images you can actually add images so if you want to add images you tap on the plus sign on the top of your screen you can see comment text images shapes line tables and everything you need to do if you want to edit your text, you want to edit your text, you can tap on this icon here. It will show you how to edit text. So if you are conversant with Microsoft Word, like I said earlier, it is very easy to use this application. It's a friend, you had a friendly interface, you can use it also. Right? So I don't really want to own my data. That's why I'm not going to show you how to use a template. But it's very easy. The moment you tap on choose template, there are several templates that will pop out. You can just go through any one you like. You tap on it. Yes. The moment you tap on it, it will bring you to an interface here like this. All you just have to do is to tap, double tap, or yes, double tap, and you edit. You write what you ever you want to write. When you tap on, when you double tap on it, it will show you like this, and you just write whatever you want to write. Right. So. If you want to edit the text, you tap on this icon here on the top of the screen and it will show you font size, the font size, text colors, and the rest. You go about to uh, edit. Now, the next thing now I want to show you if, per eventually, you want to add more slides or delete more or multiple slides, you just tap on this icon here by the left hand, right hand side of your screen. Sorry, you tap on it. Many slides will come out. Sorry for that. You tap on the right hand side of your screen below your screen there are many slides will come out you can choose as many as you want right you choose as many as you want you can choose as many as you want but if for adventure the slides are more than and you don't really need them all and you want to delete all you just have to do is to tap on each of the slides for a longer time it will be highlighted you tap again it will be highlighted you tap again it will be highlighted and you tap on the right hand corner of your screen here I tap on delete okay you watch now we now have only two slides available okay so that is how to use this google slide to create a slide show presentation now sorry for that i didn't show you all let's go back
So, okay. Now, if you are done, if you are done, so to be able to create your slideshow, if you are done, you save it and you come back to this place here like this. And you tap on this three dot here by beside the slide. You tap on it. If you want to change your name, you can rename it here also. You can rename it here. Yes, say rename. You can rename. Then if you want to download, right now I'm not online. That's why the download button is not showing. The download option is not showing. But it says available offline. So I can work on this slide offline. But if you want to download, make sure your data connection is on. Then you tap on download. And the moment you download it, it will go to your file. From there, you can use it to create a presentation. All right, you can use it from there to create a presentation. So it is very easy to use. Let me just show you a little of what I did. Let's tap on this dropshipping, explain. So I'll just show you something inside. All right, so this is it here. This is how it will look. Let me make it. Okay, so this is how it will look here. So this is a template that I use. I just edited it. Yes, I just edited the template. So it's very easy to use. Now I will be taking you to another application you will really need as to succeed in this your graphic uh, your YouTube channel. Now the next application you will need is actually called Pixel Lab. This is the application here. I'm actually showing you free application you can use because I don't want you to say I don't have data maybe to stay online in creating my design or doing whatever I want to do. These are free applications you can actually use and you can run a successful YouTube channel. All right, so this application is meant to do or create graphic designs. You can use it to create your graphic designs. All right, let me just see something here. You can use this application to create graphic design. So you can use it to create your thumbnails for your. Uh, you can use it to create your thumbnails for your YouTube channel. All right. So to create a thumbnail, you just tap on this three dot by the right hand side of your screen. You will pop out a menu like this. You tap on image size. You go here and you select where it says YouTube thumbnail. You tap on it. Tap OK. So this is a YouTube thumbnail site, so you can use it to create your YouTube thumbnail. You can also use it to create a YouTube banner, use it to create your YouTube profile picture. So you just use this application basically for graphic designing. So you will need this application also in this your uh, YouTube journey also. All right, so those are some applications you need. And another one here is called YouTube Studio where you can use it to view your youtube analytics and everything to see how your channel is growing and all and all and all all right so these are tools you need these are basic tools you need so you don't really need to say i need a laptop i need a digital camera and this and that and that you can go ahead now starting your youtube channel using these tools that i have shown you on this video and you can start creating videos and start uploading and start building your youtube channel now the truth about starting a youtube you should understand that it will take time Yes, so you just have to be patient with it, following the step, learn from other big YouTubers. Yes, learn from other big YouTubers. That's one way to grow. To easily grow, you need to follow. Follow those who are ahead of you. Follow their step little by little, and you find yourself growing. There are other big YouTubers I'm also following on this channel. I learn from them too daily. So you too need to have some to follow that you can learn from them. There are several other of them. You can follow them who teach how and how to grow a YouTube channel. So look for them on the YouTube channel and follow them. Follow their steps, their principles, and you start growing your channel. All right? So if you have that intention, that belief, or that uh, belief that you want to start, that thought that you want to start your YouTube channel, all you just have to do now is to start. And along the line, you will be proud of yourself. The true part about this my YouTube channel that I decided to recreate it back again. I first created this channel 2016, but I was not serious on creating YouTube videos. Maybe because I don't have, I didn't have any uh, specific topic I wanted to be creating videos on. That's why I left the channel. But now I'm back fully to start creating videos. I have over 17 videos and 30 subscribers on my channel right now. 
So you too can go ahead and start. Search for what you know how to do best. Yes, look for what you know how to do best and start creating videos on those areas. You will find yourself having content ideas. You know, the major problem we have as YouTubers is to have generate content ideas. But if you create the videos on what you know how to do, having content ideas will not be a problem. So just look around yourself, set your heart. You can take a day out and think on what you know how to do and maybe create a YouTube channel on it. Content idea will not be the problem as long as this is what you know how to do and you know how to do it very well. You can be generating content every day and day and day and you start growing your channel. So that will be all for this video on how you can start a YouTube channel with just your smartphone. Now, if for eventually you have not subscribed to my channel, I will just urge you now to please hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when we drop new videos. I'll be seeing you in the subsequent video. But as for now, bye for now.